Okay, so advanced, being an advanced spiritual um, student, shall we say, and and getting really uh, getting feel like you're getting beaten up or getting feel feeling like you're going through very deep stuff uh, and uh, are dealing with things like intense uh, fear of God or fear of punishment of God. I would contact, you know, a few things. When you get to, um, unfortunately, when, when you get to advanced spiritual levels, when you clear a lot of your past karma, um, then you tend to, what you tend to do is you accelerate your karmic, you can start to accelerate your karmic undoing because you've cleared so much karma you now have the power and the level of consciousness to really start to clear some of your deeper karma. It's like uh, the universe isn't going to give you your deeper karma when you're too weak because you wouldn't be able to handle it. It's just not appropriate. Uh, if you like in this school of karmic undoing and, and karmic lessons to give you something that you wouldn't have a chance to handle. Uh, so now that you've cleared so much of your stuff, you might be able to clear some of the more deeper, heavier stuff uh, that you've you've got your your karmic baggage from past lifetimes. So it could be that you're dealing with uh, now able to deal with this uh, time of feeling very bereft or abandoned or extremely punished by God or having been you know been faithful and then feel abandoned. So now you're eligible to clear that, and that can come up as as a karmic stack. You know, it's like it's now time for you to resolve this and clean this. Um, this karmic, uh, this very, very strong karmic baggage, maybe from a lifetime or multiple lifetimes that has affected you. Uh, also, you know, at certain lifetimes, you may have uh, had various belief systems around God and felt very betrayed or abandoned. It might have created deep, deep uh, trauma or abandonment or fear of being punished or that you're being punished. So this can create quite sizable uh, karma for you. and then when you have to undo it it's almost like you feel like you're living through it and having those belief systems coming through you and they can be very very intense um, so they just are very very intense while you're undoing it but once you release it on the other side then uh, it's almost like you forget it and it's not a big deal but while you're going through it and some of them might take a long time it might be quite intense there might be multiple lifetimes involved of the karma I think uh, the thing to know with that is um, uh, Hawkins, I remember Hawkins saying, if, you're do, if you, your work is too intense, you can always slow your spiritual work down and try to undo your karma at a much slower rate, then it won't be so intense. So um, that's one thing to do. Also have compassion with yourself. You know, sometimes you can be hit with a lot of stuff and that's because you're now able to, you know, it's like you're, universe, if you like, thinks you're able to handle that level of stuff and process that level of stuff because you've risen so much um, in your consciousness. So um, if you have access to muscle testing or kinesiology, you can do research on it to try and alleviate or find out the roots to clear it faster uh, and to get uh, or pray, pray to the Holy Spirit for a miracle and to see it in truth or to give you direction on the, the lesson that needs to be learned to, to release um, any sort of uh, dualistic conflict more quickly, like a punishing God or being fearful of God. Um, so those are some of the things I would do. Okay, I'm gonna stop.